and this is Caw Gap Turret. Can't tell because it's not numbered. And there wasn't much there. I wonder if the soldiers who were at these places differentiated between the amenities of one place over another, you would think. Now a gap implies a break in the wall that was intentional and it was for the purpose of allowing trade and the collecting of the taxes on that trade. Notice here that the wall is much thinner if in fact that is the original wall on the opposite side of the road and we won't find out till we get much higher. Three people as I was following, I'm going to let them get ahead since they are two women who are jabberers. And here we can see the ditch on the north side going up there. But still those horizontal lines uh, intrigue me. The military way would have gone there as well as the vallum and maybe an additional ditch and their accompanying mounds. So you can sh see how these sheep ports, I'll call them, or gates are used. You can block them off and then when you want the sheep over here you just open it up and then over time couple weeks or whatever whenever they get tired of the grass on the other side they'll start wandering through. Once the leader goes through they'll all go through. And to answer my earlier question yes you do have to climb to the top of that far higher hill because there it is. There in the distance one of the lakes below the crags that the guidebook has talked about. I'm hoping that the trail goes down the hill and turns right and that down there is where I'm going to spend the night. I think the end of the hike for this day is somewhat close at hand just as the sun comes out briefly. Blue sky behind me and to the left, to the north. And hopefully down there is where I'm going. Here the trail continues and notice that it's covered with turf. Now part of the wall was done in turf with stone overlaying it and then some parts over were done uh, with I think totally in turf others were done totally in stone this is the YHA hostel excellent place a um, couple of curiosities but that's to be expected uh, very good uh, breakfast and dinner capability and execution it seems like a rare morning with this beautiful sun and just beyond that house you see in the middle is a shortcut over to the trail which is to the right we're going over there but I noticed this little bit of a rainbow here yesterday there was a full half circle rainbow down below is the inn or the pub where you may sit and relax in their living room and eat in the bar and drink. And to the left, hidden in the trees, is the YHA. Behind me is the public footpath, which is the public footpath to Hadrian's Wall. Notice that that was at a slight angle, so we're going to go off that way rather than that way. And immediately we're confronted by our first wall of the day and our first steep climb up to what looks to be either a mile house castle or a turret. The ubiquitous sheep. And you wonder if this depression here isn't either the military road or a volume. Ah, another rainbow. Here there are large stones as a stairway, probably not Roman, but possibly. And then here, a modern day invention, uh, another device for keeping the sheep out and letting people squeeze through. And here we have a 180 degree or more rainbow. Now we've got a double rainbow, but somewhere I can hear the birds moving this block. Oh yeah, there he is. But not on horseback anymore. <laughs> Dog and it looks like the cows are on the move too.
And I think today we get to see several lakes. And that one probably from up above on those hilltops. See, this is going to be a series of steep up and downs. Pretty much to the south right now. A little rain coming from some. And in between, which I didn't notice just a moment ago, is this mile castle. I'm sure it's a mile castle. Interesting that it's down in this hollow, certainly for protection from the wind it would be better, but it would certainly seem to make it a vulnerable target if anybody breached the wall. You can see also evidence of individual rooms or houses in that fort. And from this openings there on the wall and then at the other end of the fort, I'm wondering if this wasn't just one of the main gates for traders to pass through and taxes to be collected. And here this small foundation may have been the uh, gatekeeper. But you can well imagine that for a trader getting past this point was a milestone, albeit expensive. And for the smuggler a complete gall. Here we can see the next wicked little hill in the wall, but over here you see that kind of ditch, and I'm suspecting that is a Roman ditch. And this may be. It's, uh, I doubt that's Roman, but it looks like a cistern of some sort. The fact that it slopes in slightly you might suggest that it originally was much taller, like some kind of tower. The layout of the path, its direction, etc., is pretty obvious, the strategy. You stay to the high ground wherever you can. You can see where we're going next. Pretty walk alongside the lake in this forest. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like a bird nest. <laughs> you may be able to get a hint of the winds up here from the way these trees are moving. It's actually nice. Keeps you cool when you need to be cool. Again, going from west to east keeps the wind pretty much behind you. And they have several mechanical devices. This one's the first one I've seen like this. This one lifts up like that to free the, uh, ray of the uh, shaft that slides into that slot. Others just have a little gizmo that you push that way and it works. And then here's the other element. You notice the wall makes a left-hand turn here uh, with a farmer's wall made out of Roman rock, I'm sure. But my guess is that his driveway sits on top of the wall pad and that the uh, ditch on the right is a Roman ditch. And then it, in, it connected with the wall that you see up there. View of the lake looking back to the west. Our rainbow still there. Notice this farmer, rancher, whatever you call him, uh, has a couple of boats down at the bottom of the shore there for putzing around in his lake. And here's his farmstead. Now I'm just going to pan to the south because I can't avoid taking in these views. It was interesting, those two sheep down there just jumped the wall. <laughs> so much for its containment value. <laughs> and the view up the hill. Okay, from this vantage point, I have a view of three lakes. The one we've just passed and our ubiquitous rainbow. And I think off in the distance we can see there to the left over the top of the crag to the left of the lake the YHA hostel and the pub. But here's another lake. Which suggests lay 
ratio, but I don't know if that's true. This is running east to west. If they're glacial, they should be north and south, I think. And then as we pan further towards the east, here off to the right is still another lake. And here a fourth lake in between what I thought was the second and the third lake. So now that's the fourth lake. The Penning Way Trail apparently is a per trail runs perpendicular north and south to the Hadrian Wall Trail. England is laced with trails. It's a real culture.